Hey guys, today we have a very special video. We're going to do a deep dive into the She Glam X Hello Kitty Diving Into The Reef collection. As usual, with She Glam collections, as soon as I saw this, I had to go get it, so I immediately added it to cart. You've probably been able to tell by a few shorts that I did that I actually very much enjoy Hello Kitty. I feel like for the past month, all I've done is collections from my childhood, but I'm not complaining. So I really don't know how to show you the PR box, but I don't know if you can tell, this is gigantic. Here's a close-up of the front. As you can see, here's Hello Kitty. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to look like a stall, like one of those popsicle stalls. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. In here, there's a little thing that says tomorrow is another day. I like the blue-pink vibe that they went with. They're both pastel colors, very pretty. I really do enjoy the motifs, like the stars and the shells. They really went for it. <laughs> this really does represent Hello Kitty well, I feel like. On the back of this, you have a list of everything that's included and also descriptions with the ingredients for everything in case you're allergic to something, you can check. Now, when you open this up, and I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to show you, but this is how it looks like inside. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of an advent calendar. Just without the numbers, but this is all cut up. This just has images of postcards, and you're supposed to just rip it open as if it's an advent calendar. But let's take a look at the postcards, because this one is so cute, and it says Summer Sun. That one is Hello Kitty swimming, <laughs> and it says Sweet Fun. This one right here is Hello Kitty on the boat, and this one is her holding a buoy. So as you can see, there's a lot of different designs here. I really like what they did with the inside and the outside. I just wish that they had given us a tab to open things, because I have gel nails, and I just know that I'm most likely gonna break a nail if I try to open these with the nails. When calendar season is about to be here, and this is just like some pre-practice <laughs> for me. But without further ado, let's open stuff up. I'm gonna try to open this with you, and I'm grabbing one of my brushes because I need to be able to stab this. <laughs> now that I've done a hole, <laughs> I think I can open it. So satisfying. So the first thing we have is a pair of sunglasses. I really like the pouch. They didn't have to include it, but they did. I hate it when glasses come without pouches. It's very simple. It just says Hello Kitty and it has some whiskers. And then the back has the branding. But these are the little glasses. They're so funky. I don't know who comes up with the ideas for glasses. First, there's the alien glasses. I don't know if you remember those. <laughs> if not, you should go watch the first video I ever recorded, but because we had alien glasses on there. <laughs> I'm gonna put a picture here just so you can see it. Do I look any better with these? Probably not. <laughs> they honestly remind me of like 80 sunglasses for some reason. You can't see that much with these. You can just barely see this part right here. So a lot of what you see is the plastic inside, but not bad. <laughs> I really think that what they've done here is that they tried to make them a shape of a bow. I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of looks like a bow. It's definitely different. I've never... Lam just makes the weirdest glasses. I've never owned glasses that are so strange. But I don't mind. They're gonna be cool for a short. <laughs> just gonna traumatize people in these. Could you imagine me at the beach with these? Anyway, <laughs> they're made of plastic, but they're quite sturdy, and they're in this baby pink color that matches the PR box that we got. Usually with accessories, you cannot buy them individually, but they just come in the PR box set, but I might be wrong. All right, next to one. Also, I'm gonna poke a lot of places, just so that it's easier to remove. Oh, so we have a little waterproof eyeliner. I really like the buoy that they added here. I also really like the pattern that they chose. Baby blue with yellow polka dots, can't go wrong. Oh, I wasn't expecting a black eyeliner. Not complaining. Might be handy though, cause mine keep drying up. Here's the tip of it. It's just a standard brush tip. And here's a swatch of it. It's actually very matte because it turned matte in seconds. Mind you, this is just with one coat, okay? I did not do another coat. I just pressed on it, pulled it, and that was the pigment. Right, I'm not, Usually the most excited about black eyeliners, but I feel like this one's gonna be good. Next up is this one up here. Oh, we have more eyeliners, okay. 
By the way, the first one's shade was Black Sand. And this one is in the shade White Wave, so I'm guessing it's gonna be white. The last eyeliner that Chi Glam did that was white wasn't the most pigmented. You could get it there, but it took a while. Let's see if this one is any better. Here's a swatch of it. I would say that it's a touch better of the last eyeliner that they launched, which was with Care Bears. It is a little bit more pigmented, but I still feel like it's gonna take a little bit more effort to build. Not an issue though. Also, I love the pink bowl. Just look at this, it's so cute. <laughs> If you ever get tired of me saying things are cute, I'm really sorry. I want to stop, but I just... everything is always so cute. I'm probably always and forever going to use that word. Apologize in advance. <laughs> I think there's still one more eyeliner. Oh, oh, this one is really cool. So this is the last eyeliner and it's in the shade Pink Wings. I love the Hello Kitty on there and the pink contrast between the polka dots and the actual tube. It's so cute. <laughs> Like I said, I just cannot stop myself. What can I do? And here is a swatch of the pink eyeliner. Honestly, all of them performed really well. I am very surprised and I'm very excited. They all turn matte within seconds. I feel like it dries very quickly too. The pigment is great, especially for the pink and the black, but I feel like the white is very buildable. So you can get it super opaque. But, of course, we're gonna have to test it out to see how we do. I feel like this little bit is the palette and I want to save it for last, so I'm gonna move on to this side. And I'm gonna start by poking a hole in this little bit here. Ooh, what is this? So this is the Surface of Primer and I'm actually quite pissed that I didn't remember there was gonna be a primer in here. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just that my skin has been acting up. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a huge eczema rash going right now. I didn't film for a week just because I wanted to see if it would just disappear, but it's not disappearing. And I think it's from the stress because I'm going through major life changes. I really hope it clears up soon, but I do need to give my skin some rest. I'm just running out of time to record, so I needed to get this video up now. But yeah, that's why I've done my skin and I feel like if I tried to use this on my skin as it is right now, it would kill me. My skin would kill me. <laughs> not the actual primer, the skin would kill me because I have very sensitive skin and the eczema does not help. So I'm gonna wait until my skin is a little bit better to do a short, but when I do do a short, I will for sure use this just so that you know how it goes on. But for now, I am going to swatch it and see how it feels. I wonder if this moves if I pump it. We'll see. Oh, this is a weird consistency. It definitely did move. That's cool. So I don't know if you can see, but the consistency is... Very airy, almost like whipped cream. I don't know how to explain it. But you can clearly see that the pink and the white inside the primer are separated. So once it's applied to the face, I'm gonna guess that the primer is gonna disappear. It doesn't even say what kind of primer it is. I was hoping it would say, because again, I have sensitive skin. I don't know <laughs> if this primer is for me. It doesn't smell of anything though, so that's a positive sign because I cannot wear primers and spell. I really like how it looks like inside though. Can you see the little swirl? And then it's got a little cylinder here that once you pump it, air goes in here and it pushes the product up. It's very smart. I've had quite a few products like this and I can tell you that you barely waste product with this. It quite literally takes out 99% of it. It's very practical. I don't know why more companies don't do this. All right, so I'm going to blend it in and we'll see how it looks. First impressions, it's kind of looking like sunscreen, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna keep blending. It's now been absorbed into my skin. Honestly, consistency-wise, it feels like sunscreen, but it doesn't smell like sunscreen, and I don't think there's any SPF in this. I think it's literally just like a thin moisturizing cream. Once absorbed, you can barely feel it. It's a little bit tacky, which is good for makeup. I really need to see how it performs, but first impression, seems like a standard good primer. All right, let's poke more holes. Gonna poke these three here because they all look like they're gonna be the same thing. Oh, there's four. <laughs> Ooh. So this is a Coastal Charm Cream Blush. So the other three that we're gonna open next are all blushes. This one is so cute. It just has Hello Kitty and goggles and a buoy. <laughs> so you basically just open this up like so. Super easy. And here is the first shade, which is called Trippy Cool. 
I feel like cream blushes are just so in right now that everybody's doing them. I haven't seen a powder blush from a collection in a long time and I miss it because I prefer powder blushes. I just have to get used to cream for a while. Here is a swatch of Trippy Cool. It's not too pigmented, but it's got good pigment, which means that it will blend out somewhat sheer, and then you can build it up. I like these type of blushes. Also, I really like this color. It's like a little red coral. Very pretty. This might be the one we end up using, but we'll see. I'm gonna break a nail trying to take this one out. Come out. I'm trying to give birth to makeup. Ugh. So here is the shade Ocean Breeze, and as you can see, Hello Kitty has different goggles. I like the idea. You can distinguish them that way, I guess. And here is the shade on the inside. It looks a little bit more pink than the first one we opened. These ones are so creamy, by the way. You really have to be gentle to not disturb the pan too much. Don't mind it, but you can take out a lot of product by accident. So here is a shade of Ocean Breeze. It's like an almost bubblegum pink, but not quite. Again, it's not fully pigmented, so you can definitely sheer it out. I literally just broke my brush trying to take out the blush. I love this brush, why? <laughs> she glam, please make these easier to take out. A sad day for me. I'm gonna try to see if I can glue it. This is the shade Sunsuit, and this Hello Kitty has no glasses. She's just winking, having the time of her life. And I love this color because this is like a pink mauve and I am obsessed with mauve. I've been obsessed with mauve for like two years. Mauve and Dusty Rose, as you can see from my wall, it's my favorite color right now. Gonna swatch it. Here is a swatch of Sunsuit. Again, super creamy. And I really love this color. And here is the last shade called Friends Trip. Hello Kitties look similar, but this one is a lot brownier than this one. I forgot to show you the inside before I swatched it, but here it is. And here's a swatch of French trip. I honestly would consider this of a straight up orange, but a toned down orange. Not super orange, so it's wearable, but it is pretty. These were cute. I'm still upset about the brush though. I need to start getting pliers or something. Getting a new brush. Hopefully this one stays intact. This looks so fun. So this is the Bowtiful Highlighting Body Mist. And oh my god, look at this bottle. This might be. I didn't even know She Glam could be this bougie. <laughs> Gonna give you a close up just so that you can really see it. Here's a glass bottle. And then here's the bit where you squeeze. There's a little lid. And here's the back. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but uh, I guess I'm gonna be covered in glitter again. Should we try it right now? Just spray it into the air. My room is already messy. <laughs> Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, did you see that? Ooh, that was like a fine mist. How am I even gonna put this in certain places of my face? It's gonna be everywhere, right? It's gonna go everywhere. I can already imagine the shorts that I can do with this. I'm gonna spray some onto my hand just so that you guys can see the color. Oh, but this is very messy. Here's a swatch of it. It's a very light pink with a lot of glitter. I feel like if I just do this, then I take my highlighting brush and I just grab some of this like that, I might be able to highlight my face. <laughs> we gotta find solutions, people, because I do not want my whole face to glow. I'm gonna look sweaty from up here. But you know, this is innovation. It really is. Glam never comes up with the same thing twice, at least in these EP collections, so... Might be a little bit of a gimmick, but it's something I'm most likely gonna display in my room for a very long time. Ooh, okay. It's gonna be even harder! How? You guys, I didn't want to rip this whole thing, but I'm gonna have to. Maybe if I'd done this to begin with, my brush would still be alive. Jeez Louise, how am I supposed to take these out? Uh, this is basically a video of watching Rita struggle for 20 minutes straight. <sighs> Gonna have fun editing this. And here is the first one out, finally. This one is Poolside Perfection Lip Glaze, and it's in the shade Melon Punch. You basically just twirl Hello Kitty's head, and it comes out. The doe foot looks pretty standard, but it seems to hold enough product. Also, I really like this keychain part because you can pretty much just attach it to anything. It's smart. I might actually do that. <laughs> and I never take lip gloss with me anywhere. But I might do it because of this. 
Here is a swatch of Melon Punch. I would say this is more of a dark berry red. It's very pretty. I'm trying to use more glosses as I have so many, but I keep saying this. I'm a matte girl, so I've only gotten glosses these past few months in the collections. I get that glosses and cream blushes are a trend, but please bring back matte stuff and liquid lipsticks. Next one was much easier to take out for some reason, and this is the shade Sweet Tea. I don't know about Sweet Tea, but I really love iced tea. And here's a swatch of Sweet Tea. It's definitely more of a brownie nude. I tend to prefer these shades in my day-to-day, -day, but I like the selection so far. <sighs> and it's back to hard. Here is the next one in the shade Apple Juice. It does not remind me of apples, but it's not an ugly shade. And this one is just a straight-up light brown. It's cute. I like it. I wish there was more variety in the shades though. Don't get me wrong, I love my nudes, but uh, I like going bold sometimes too. I feel like a bubblegum pink would look really cool and it would have made sense. And lastly, this is Pink Lemonade and it's blue, but I'm gonna guess it's just clear inside just because of the theme. I was partially right. This is clear, but it's got a lot of pink, yellow, green, and orange specks of glitter. So it's not totally boring. Again, exchange one of these three very basic colors with the bubblegum pink, and I would have been happy. They do feel good swatched, so let's see how they apply. And lastly, oh, this closed on my fingers. But lastly, we have the palette. Ta-da! This is the Fun in the Sun color palette, and look at the front of this. It's holographic. It's got Hello Kitty swimming with her goggles, the buoy and the seashells. It makes sense, you know? It's a cohesive theme. And here's the back of it, also holographic, and it just gives you some information. And it opens up like so. So, you know, I've seen this palette online, I knew it was gonna be nude. There's a light, like, pink in the center, but on the eyes it's not gonna look like much. Would have preferred a much brighter pink. Last time with Rick and Morty, they did a fully colored palette, so I get why they decided to tame this one, so that it's more wearable. Plus, this shade is quite literally just so white looking that it's kind of making up for the fact that the colors are boring. You cannot get much depth with this. This color right here is the darkest it goes, and it, it's not dark at all. It's like a light to medium brown shade. These, I'm gonna guess you can use as a blush topper and a highlighter, but it might be too dark for me. I don't know, like, I get the vibe. I do, I, I do, I get the vibe. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Like, a little pop of color that was in baby pink would have been so cool in this. Maybe a darker brown, just to deepen things up. I'm gonna do the palette swatches, but I really just need to swatch the shade, I'm sorry. You guys, just look at the sparkle of this shade up close. I am deceased. I am so unalived right now. <laughs> this other shade looks wet too, but not as much. Yeah, so it's this one at the top. There's not much of a wow factor here, but it's not bad. You know what? I'll give them this. For every day, I'm most likely going to reach for these two shades the most. Probably mix in a little bit of pink too. I think it would look really cute. You can only really get one kind of look with this, but let's see what we do with it. Now that we've unboxed everything, you know what time it is. It's time to put all of these on my face. So let's go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take the palette and I'm firstly gonna dip into the shade Pink Bow, which is the baby pink one. It seems to have decent pigment. I'm just gonna run it on the inner part of my eye. I'm not gonna drag it down, I just wanna add it right here. It is so much more pigmented than I expected. I don't know if you guys can see, but wow. I even set my eyelids before I started recording. And it's just sticking so well, and it's not disappearing as much as I thought. Too glam, you're proving me wrong. I like that. So for the outer edge, I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade High Tide, and I'm gonna start building it on the outer corner, very slowly taking my time. It is all so super pigmented. She glam, I'm eating my words. I honestly truly don't know why I'm surprised because I've tried so many collections from Chi Glam and they've never disappointed me. I know I seem a little bit negative in this video, but it's just because I don't want to kiss their ass. If things good, I'm gonna tell you, and if I think something can be improved, I'm also going to tell you. But despite my thoughts, 
I really like how it turned out so far. So for the inner part of my eye, I'm taking a flat brush and I'm gonna be taking the shade Vacation Mode and I'm just applying it right here. It's a lot more sparkly than I expected. And if you're new here and you don't know, I love sparkly eyeshadow. For the outer edge, I'm gonna take this shade. I love looking at this shade. It up well with the brush too. And I'm adding it on this part of my eye. You know what? Once they're on the eyes, there isn't that much difference between the two. At least noticeable. But I really like the effect that it's giving. Because we lost the colors to the glitters a little bit, I'm gonna be taking the matte shades and I'm just gonna reinforce them. And I'm just blending over the glitter. Now the little brown shade. I'm also quickly running the brown under my eye. Not being specific about the spot. I just want it a little bit blended and fanned out. And lastly, to diffuse the edges of the brown, I'm just gonna take the shade Flip Flops. I mean, yeah, realistically, there's not much else that you can do with these. <laughs> but I think I did a good job at incorporating almost everything. I'm gonna come back to these two shades a little later. And I'm gonna move on to the eyeliners. I wanna do something that I feel like is completely gonna ruin the look, but I kinda wanna try it. You know what? I really do hope that it looks like a little wave, because that's what I was going for. I don't know how I feel about it, but we're done. <laughs> I'm also gonna line my lash line with the pink one. Going very slowly. I'm gonna stop because I feel like at this point I'm just doodling. I don't hate it, it looks interesting. And the eyeliners definitely give it a pop. I just hope I'm able to match the other side because normally I'm terrible at that. Eyeliner is not my strong suit, I have very shaky hands. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera, add mascara, you already know. I'm gonna be right back. All right, you guys, these are the eyes done. I feel like I definitely managed to make them at least 90% close. Once it dries, the white eyeliner just isn't as opaque as it used to be, but you can still see it. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of the cream blushes. I don't know which shade to go for. I don't want things to clash, so I'm gonna go with the shade Ocean Breeze. I'm just gonna take my sponge and dab it a little bit. I feel like I took too much, so I'm just gonna, yep, put some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Ooh, I like this shade. Add it to my nose a little bit. And the amount that I took is enough to do the other side. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit on my forehead, because why not? And my chin. I really like this so far. This blush goes really well with my skin tone. Alright, now going back to the palette. I'm just gonna take the shade Coral Cutie and add it on top. Why not? You know what? It's very subtle, but does give it a more shimmery finish. I feel like it's mixing really well with the blush too. Yes. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm gonna take the shade Sunshine Smile. It's got a similar consistency to the eyeshadows. And I'm gonna add it to my cheeks. It is really emphasizing my texture because of the eczema, so I'm really sorry, guys. But highlighter-wise, it is very pretty. I thought it would potentially be too dark for me, but it doesn't really look like it. Next, I'm gonna take one of these three. I think I'm going with the shade Sweet Tea. I'm going to just apply it to my lips. Okay, so here's a shade of sweet tea on my lips. I like this one. And it smells somewhat minty. I don't feel the cooling, but I do think it's got some sort of mint in here. It's not bad, but it's very, very light. On top, I'm just going to add some of the sparkly one. All right, lastly, I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to spray this on my face. And then I'm going to tell you what I think of everything. Also, if you made it this far, please subscribe. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. I'm honestly so scared. I feel like I'm about to be shot. It's so stupid. Okay, one, two, three. It did the job. I am definitely covered in sparkles now. All right, you guys, this is the final look. So if you ask me, I think that Chi Glam did it again. Despite me feeling that this isn't colorful enough, I get it because it's meant to be enjoyed by all ages. A child can use this, a teenager can use this, an adult can use this, and there's something for everybody. Plus I'm really happy with that one pink shade. <laughs> so for starters, the eyeliners. I only used the pink and the white today, but they were decently pigmented. Not the most pigmented thing in the world. Don't think you're gonna get full pigment with these, at least on the first coat. Or with the white, the third coat, because <laughs> I did three coats. But it's visible on my eyes. 
I did enjoy how easy they went on. They dried super fast. They're not cracking, so for now I have nothing to say about these. If you want colorful eyeliners that are cheap, you're going to enjoy these. This primer, again, I didn't get the chance to fully try it. It does seem to be hydrating and it's a thin consistency. It does stay tacky after it's dried, so it's a good base for makeup. Once my skin is cleared, I'm gonna be giving this a chance to see if I like it. These little blushes, you can't really go wrong with these. I love the theming too, because it's just... They're all different. The packaging isn't the same for any of them. Plus I think the colors of the blushes were all well thought out, because there's something for everybody. There's a mauve, a brown, a coral, and a pink, so... They did a good job with these, and as you can see, they were very easy to apply. I just had to be a little careful with them. They blended out super easily. I like these and I will continue to use them. These little glosses, although the colors just seem super similar, I don't think they're gonna look that different on the lips, but I might be wrong. I do like the formula of them. It's barely sticky, barely stringy. Type of gloss that you can handle throughout the day. The only reason why I don't like glosses that much is because my hair gets stuck in them so often. But I do really enjoy this one. I like the color of it. Plus it looked really nice with the sparkly one. They have a really nice formula, so if you like glosses, I definitely recommend these. This thing, is it a gimmick? Yes. Will I keep it? Absolutely. Most likely we'll never spray it again, but it's such a cool thing to look at. Here's the thing, if you're looking for something cool that you're gonna use every day, I don't think this is it. Unless you like looking glittery all over like a disco ball. And you can also do what I said and just like add a little bit onto your hand, then take a brush, then brush it on. So yeah, there are ways to use this, but in my everyday life, I'm never gonna think, oh, let me just take out the bountiful body mist. It does look cool on my arms though, not gonna lie. I would get it just for the bottle, but for its purpose, it's a nice product. And lastly, we have the palette, which is usually my favorite thing. And it still is this time around, even though it's pretty much a nude palette. And I'm a very colorful gal, I like color. But you know, this pink is a lot more pigmented than it appears. I was not expecting it, I was expecting it to pretty much wipe away. Sheen blew my mind with that one. <laughs> also really enjoyed the shimmer shades. They are so sparkly, my eyes look wet. And that's what I like. I also feel like this is a really good palette for work, oddly. Or for school, wherever you have to be, you could wear this and it would pretty much be appropriate anywhere. Plus, I like that it's all different formulas. These are mattes, but then this one is its own formula. This one is its own formula too, it's a little bit drier than this one. This one is also like its own formula, but it's closer to this one. This one is just a sheen. <laughs> so you have a lot of different formulas in one palette. It's nice, blends well, it's cute, it's on theme. I would buy it anyway because I'm a Hello Kitty fan, but I'm very happy with its performance. So even if you don't like Hello Kitty, but you want to try a palette for Shein, this is a good one. So I do recommend this too. This box is completely destroyed now. Plus with the way it's built, you can repurpose these. Shein just glues everything down. If you try to take it out, it just rips apart. But I honestly did really enjoy this experience. It felt like I was opening an advent calendar, but in summer, which is ironic because I'm gonna start opening advent calendars really soon. But this was super fun to open, and I just feel like Shein rarely ever disappoints with the theming. They never just recycle things and call it new, you know what I mean? There's a lot of work and dedication that goes into this, so again, I really did enjoy the whole experience. Plus, if you buy the PR box, you get these glasses. If you want them, there's a reason to get it. Also, I just want to acknowledge that I know that this isn't available in a lot of places. I'm pretty sure Brazil, US, Japan, and a bunch of other places. Due to licensing issues, I think, and they are trying to acknowledge it, they've posted a message saying that they're trying to fix it ASAP multiple times. Since I'm in Europe, I was able to get it, which is new. Usually the people in the US get all the fun and most things don't ship here, <laughs> but this time being in Europe was an advantage, but I do feel really bad for the people that want to try this out and they have to wait for Shelim to fix it. I hear you, but I hope that this video gave you at least something to look forward to. Also, this originally cost 72.99 euros, but I got it for 62.4. Because once you get it, I think you're really going to like it. And that was it for today. I think this is going to be a lengthy one, but since you're here, please don't forget to subscribe because I would love having you here. Slowly but surely, we're building our little family and it's just so cool. Also, if you can, please leave a like and a comment because it really does help me out. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.
Bye.